When death comes, which it will for all of us, what happens? Is it like switching off a light or does something continue? A really important question to ask is, does consciousness continue after death? You know, we don't understand consciousness. We don't understand when it is created and when it ends. We tend to uh, focus that consciousness is just the mind and it's not. It's the whole body. Animals know this, right? Animals know all about body. Animals are much more intuitive about the future, I think, because of the body. The information involves the body, not just the mind. The, the strongest case of the near-death experience I had during my research was uh, patient 10. And when I interviewed this patient, he described leaving his body and he described going through the ceiling. So he was higher than the ceiling and it's as if the ceiling disappeared. And he looked down and he could see what we were doing to him. It feels like we're given an opportunity to have one foot left here in our humanness and our human world and we have one foot in wherever we're going to go and I don't know where that is and then when we're ready we die and and I think that's incredibly loving. Now as, as physics has advanced we, we see many ways in which we understand that our common sense way of experiencing the world is a very thin slice of physical reality. It feels as though Consciousness is the final frontier of science. What is it? Where is it? If I ask you to picture your childhood home, and now you're picturing it, and all its glory, where is that image? It's not in your head. Where are these images held? Where, where is consciousness? How did you just bring that up? Where did it come from?